Holy moly. Oh, no. 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 All jobs have risks, but hunting alligators for a living seems to be the height. Swamp People is a reality show that follows the daily activities of brace alligator hunters living in the Atchafalaya River Basin who hunt American alligators for a living. What job could be more daring than that? The show debuted on History Channel on August 22, 2010, and has gone on to premiere its 13th season after it captured viewers' hearts. Alligator hunting season starts on the first Wednesday in September every year and lasts only 30 days. The show focuses on its cast members hunting alligators, but some segments outside the hunting season also show how the hunters prey on other animals. Some episodes show the hunters prey on fish, shrimp, turtles, and raccoons. For the recent seasons, the hunters have shifted their focus to the swamplands in Texas, but most of the show and previous seasons were shot in Louisiana. Due to laws and regulations of each state concerning animals, alligator hunters are given a limited number of tags so they don't hunt the species to extinction. The primary objective of gator hunters on Swamp People is to tag out so they can make enough money for the gator skin and meat. It's quite profitable, I think. So let's meet the gator hunters on Swamp People and know what's up with them. For the past 12 years, Swamp People has entertained its loyal viewers at home with amazing and detailed content. Of course, numerous hunters have been featured on the show, who will talk about them in a jiffy. Swamp People has made over 40 gator hunters popular, giving them enough to fall back on when they retire. Despite the insightful look and actions on our screen, some of our favorite gator hunters have managed to hide secrets from us. It's okay to have a private life, but as diehard fans, we want to know everything about our faves, so we can brag about it. Troy Landry Like every other job or sports activity has the GOAT, greatest of all time, the GOAT of gator hunting is Troy Landry. Take it or leave it, Troy is the king of the swamp. Troy, being the son of a fisherman, started his journey as a gator hunter from a tender age. Troy's childhood helped him achieve the GOAT status on swamp people. He disclosed that he goes on a fishing spree with his father and seafood distribution. So hunting gators has been incorporated in his DNA. Troy and his sons, Jacob and Chase, fill more tags than any other hunter on Swamp People. Troy's childhood began in Louisiana, giving him the advantage over other swampers. He knows the blueprint of Louisiana's swamp offhand, which helps him hunt during the gator season. A large part of Troy's earnings comes from the show, even though he has other side businesses like crawfish sales that fetches him money. Troy is worth around $2 million as of 2022, and amidst all rumors, Troy is fine and doing great. Troy was rumored to give up the ghost due to cancer, but his son, Jacob, came out to debunk it, saying, Just wanted to give everybody a little heads up on my dad. He's come back home feeling much better. For those who don't know, he had prostate cancer, and they removed his prostate. Everything looks good. After a successful operation, Troy resumed posting on his Facebook page with, Surgery went good, no more prostate. Troy has since then resumed his normal activities. When off camera, Troy spends most of his time in his father's bait shop or shooting the bull. Bruce Mitchell Bruce is one of the greatest gator hunters, but sadly he had to retire after season 9. But guess what? He came out of retirement for season 12 and had since been serving the viewers premium content with his agility and hunting skills. Bruce took up an interest in alligator hunting and turtle farming from his father-in-law. Luckily for him, he got noticed by A&E Channel and was approached for a documentary on turtle farming before he got connected with History Channel's Swamp People. Gator hunting is a great source of income. Bruce boasts a net worth of around $400,000, even though his income from turtle farming might not be included. When you become a celebrity, rumors fly around. And Bruce's case isn't any different. Just like Troy, fans also spread rumors of Bruce's death. But in this case, it was his hunting partner, Tyler, that died of a heart attack. Tyler has been Bruce's favorite pet dog and hunting partner since its inception, but his health condition took the better of him. Off the camera, Bruce lives on the farm and works in the swamp when not at home. He also has a YouTube channel where he occasionally uploads vlogs and his cooking videos. Daniel Edgar The Creole Patriarch also has a seafood company named St. Mary, and in the last season he is back with his grandson, Doreen Edgar, who has also learned the ropes. Daniel is not the most experienced skater hunter on Swamp People due to his age and skills. Daniel's skills can be traced back to his father's line, they were professional gator hunters, and Daniel did learn from a tender age. 
Daniel is said to be worth around $200,000 from the show, even though he has other side businesses like his seafood company and Louisiana Bait Company. Daniel, who joined the show in Season 7, was given a chance to join the show right from inception, but he declined and chose to hunt gators away from the camera. He later agreed to join and reckon with the show in Season 7, where he remained till the most recent season. Daniel also has his two sons, Dwayne and Joey Edgar, on the show, with Dwayne's son being the latest reinforcement. Off the camera, Daniel is just Daniel. He lost his wife to the cold hand of death in 2018 and has since been a single man. Little Willie Edwards Coming in as the son of the great William Edwards means you have a lot up your sleeve. Little Willie has been learning the ropes from his father and grandfather before eventually featuring on the show. He and his father do not relate well on the show, but reports have it that both Little Willie and his father have a great bond behind the scenes. Little Willie, being a business enthusiast, has close to $500,000 as net worth. Little Willie has been faced quite a lot in the recent years. Just recently, he and his father went on gator hunting, and after proper prepping, they got a 10-footer, which is quite big. As skilled hunters, they did everything right. But a minor mistake made William Edwards give his son, Little Willie, a deep cut. But everything was soon put under control as Little Willie got the help he needed from his father. Thankfully, Little Willie recovered from the injury. And on his arrival back on the show, he teamed up with his father to catch a 9-footer. Not bad for a comeback, I must say. Off camera, Little Willie does some personal hunting and spends quality time with his family. Most time, gator hunters are always busy with work. If they are not hunting gators, they are busy hunting other sea creatures. Jacob Landry From the name, you can easily deduce that Jacob is the first son of great hunter Troy. Jacob has a lot of responsibility. He is Troy's successor, and he has to live up to expectations or risk losing his position as the captain of the family's second ship to his younger brother. Secondly, Jacob has a family of his own with two kids. Overseeing the family's business is daring enough, and topping it with his ambitions makes it even more daring. Jacob is said to be worth around $500,000 as of 2022. Off the camera, Jacob has an ambition of exploring the filmmaking industry. He has been featured in the horror show Paranormal Extremes, text messages from the dead, some time in the past, and we hope to see more of his exploits in the industry. Anthony Porkchop Williams One of the greatest additions to the show, Anthony came on board to represent the sixth generation of his family, who are known as Master Gator Hunters. Anthony learned everything from his family, from hunting to handling to good-natured cutting. He plans to live up to expectations and keep his family's reputation intact on the show. Anthony, being new on the show, has amassed close to $100,000 to his name. And when off the camera, he indulges in personal hunting. Chase Landry The youngest family member of the Landrys on Swamp People. Chase joined the show in 2013 and has cemented his name like his legendary father. Chase, alongside his cousin, Holden, manned the deck to help the gators in check even though he is more involved in harvesting Skinner cypress trees. Chase has a reputation for pulling up massive, centuries-old logs from the bottom of the swamp, and he sells them for a hefty profit. Chase Landry has a net worth of $200,000 from the show. He also runs a gas station and a restaurant to stabilize his income. Off-camera, Chase keeps tabs on his business and extends a helping hand to his brother in charge of the family business. Running a family business seems to be the order of the day on Swamp People, from the Landrys, Williams, Edgars, and Coates, down to the Moliners. Everyone seems to be looking out for their family reputation, and we love to see them unleash their thrilling hunting skills. Don't you love it as well?